Where did you do that? How did you come to Oh, that's a great story. It was my husband's name growing up as a kid because they couldn't ever say his last name right, so they called him Hudat. And I married him, and I decided, hey, I'm now a real Hudat, so I want that for my name. See, I thought you were going to say something gay, like, uh, something about the new one and say, and I was going to be kind of pissed. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. I'm a big fan. <laughs> or something I'm a big fan of the movie. No, it's who that. Yeah, I got it. That's the that's the New Orleans uh, football quote. They stole it from us. So uh -huh. now we're who that. Oh, nice. Who that? Yep. Hey, Weezy, six oh six. We're gonna come over to this early, so yeah. I mean, if you're not tuned in, you're gonna get halfway into the hot seat. <laughs> I'm trying to get there. Hold up. If everyone tuning in, you know what that sound means. No, we can't hear the sound, but when you listen to the interview later, you'll hear the sound. That sound means it's time for Easy 606 Hot Seat. We're doing it early because we're late, so technically it's not early. I mean, it's always at this time. We're just late. So, Easy 606, it's all yours, homie. Yeah, yeah. I usually, this is usually the part where I say it's time to burn some ass hair, but we got a lady on the line, so I might not, I might not be sitting with no ass hair tonight. <laughs> 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 it really doesn't offend me, it's okay. Hey, it's all good. I'll try to keep it as good as it is. And uh, I don't know. I think it's going to be very positive. <laughs> I appreciate that. I got you, I got you. Um, okay. So, let's start off with the infamous very first question I always ask people. So, right now the industry is super flooded with people trying to be rappers and trying to make beats and, you know, everybody's got a damn beatmaking machine and a mic these days. Right. So, when I go out to do my performances or I go out to places and promote, you know, I get dudes throwing a hundred sample CDs at me, coming up to me freestyling, all that type of shit. So, mm -hmm. what makes real do that different? Like, if you came up to me and approached me in a in an artist manner, why should I listen to you? Tell me why you're different than everybody else. For sure. Well, first of all, I work with my own beat makers. I don't make my own beats. I use three specific beat makers and I buy my beats. Um, I invest in myself and I don't just throw my CDs at people and cram my music down their throat. Like, I'm not like that. I'm real and I'm all about you know, my fans and the music industry and other artists and I'm all about supporting other artists and I'm a true hip hop head to be honest, so that's what's up. That's good to hear. You know, I, I appreciate those people who respect the culture and respect uh where this shit came from. You know, like there's a lot of these young cats that I come in contact with and I'm sitting here trying to politic with them a little bit, and these dudes are trying to tell me that, you know, the greatest rapper alive is Little Wayne, you know what I'm saying? Like, no. the greatest rapper ever is Little Wayne, and I'm getting smacked into him. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no. I definitely understand where you're coming from, and let's see. So, if you're going to get stuck on an island for five years, Mm -hmm. You can take two albums that you want to listen to for five years. I want to know what you want to take with it. Okay. Well, I'm definitely going to be taking um, Bone Thugs, their first, Bone Thugs first track, their first album. What was it? Face, Face of the Die? Yeah. Face of the Die. And then I would have to take my second pick would be um, let me think about that. 
probably go with maybe a Sierra album because she's a little bit more on the slower side, more real about story, so I like her. Okay. Yeah. I think you did, I think, uh, excuse me, I think you did come, like, combination. Mm -hmm. I like that. Do, do, do. I want like all the So if there's one artist, dead or alive, I don't care, either dead or alive, that you could, uh, work with, who would you pick? Oh, I'm, I'm already going to say Lazy Bone. I mean, him, oh my gosh, I've opened for him, I've kicked it with him in the back, and I idolize him, I adore him, he's all about his kids and his family, and, and I just, he's, I grew up on his music, and I was able to open for them, and Oh my gosh, I just love him. I tell you what, I'm open for them as a group and I'm open for all of them individually. And maybe mm -hmm. that maybe the hell of it, like for real. Like maybe the music is probably my two favorites of like person wise. Like they're both incredible dudes. And they're a real humble, like super humble. Right. I watched them like Lazy was wrestling, they were wrestling in the back room, like him and his brother were wrestling right there in front of us. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. They're just like wrestling and they don't even care that we're standing here. And <laughs> the whole room is like smoky and pants, like blunts were going around and like their moms were there and the family was there. And it was just, they're all amazing. The whole family and the whole group and it's just awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely some of my influences coming up, man. Them dudes are... That's an awesome pet right there. Thank you. Let's see. 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 let what do you think about Caitlyn Jenner winning the Glamour uh, Magazine's Women of the Year? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I mean, out I of all the women that are doing all these positive things for these girls, do you want right. to be a trend with Yeah, he's, he's only been a woman for so long. He's not really a woman, and I've gone through a lot in my life, and, you know, it's, it's, to be a woman, there's a lot of pride in that, and it's just so many other women deserve that more than, I would say, him, I mean, or her, <laughs> whatever you say, <laughs> without disrespecting the person. It's right. I think that that was all of them because he was the talk of the, the, you know, the time. He was the big thing going on at that time, so I think it was a publicity stunt for them to do that. I mean, like I said, there's so many other women out there that are doing so many good things and right. slapping them in the face. Yeah, like people that do charities and they actually go out there and they work with like kids and they help the homeless. Like I don't know how many artists I've personally seen videos of them going out there on the streets, you know, including me myself, giving these people a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or giving somebody five dollars because they look so hungry and I can spare that five dollars to give somebody else a chance to eat a meal. Like, it's ridiculous. Oh yeah. We had a group of people that went out earlier in the year, man, and we uh, put together a little, like, little baggies, man. We put, like, put some money in there. We put the older toothpaste, toothbrushes. Yeah. Just it's the little like, things. Yeah. yeah. The little and things that took that people take for granted and it, like and it's so nice to be able to have right yeah uh, that's 
that Todd Decker felt. So, let's just see one more. Let's just see one more. We're going to do the, the question. Also, another infamous question here. But I've got to adjust it a little bit for you. Uh, you're going to look at how do I make this <coughs> less wicked as possible. <laughs> Okay, because I think you're going to get pretty grungy. You're going to do a movie. Can you know I have a for this question? <laughs> <laughs> you're going to do You're going to rape one. You're going to marry one. And you're going to kill one. Okay? Rape, marry, kill. Okay? Rape, okay. kill. Okay. Oh, okay. A person? Rape, marry, kill. Okay? So... Yeah. We want to go with uh, da, 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 Jared from Subway. Da, 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 we want to go with Ed DeGeneres. We want to go with Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> and we want to go with Debo from Friday. Oh, Tiny Witcher. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How would Mary the last guy you just said? <laughs> he's Mary, funny as fuck. He's Mary Debo. Yeah. yeah, he's funny as fuck. <laughs> I would rape the subway guy because he's a puke for what he does. Um. Oh, and, yeah, um, and then kill him, but no. Um, so, um, who, who's the other one? Alan, or who, who's the other one? Oprah and Alan. Oh, Oprah. Oh, that's a tough one. Then, oh, I don't know who I could kill. I'm not a mean person. <laughs> um, kill an icon. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. You just, you just broke the hearts of the people. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'm you guys this one was one's easy. <laughs> you can't wait to hear from uh, Alyssa Cuts coming, oh my god. <laughs> hey, I told you down for her down. You know I get grumpy with that question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Y'all easy? <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna leave you alone. I'm gonna leave you alone. What about the pudding pop? Come on. Gotta ask that one. Oh, pudding pop? Yep, got you. Alright, so uh, Bill Cosby. You think Bill Cosby's raping these bitches and you think he's, uh, he, caught, he caught a bad rap? Oh, honestly, I think people talk a lot of shit. And I really don't think he did anything. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not in his business, so I don't really honestly care. But if I had to say it, I would say no. Leave the, leave the guy alone and let him be a grandpa or something. Like, leave him alone. I better have to laugh with that because I already went to say, man, these chicks waited 20 some odd years. Not yeah. one, not two, not five, not ten, but like 20 chicks waited yeah. like 20 some years to come out. I mean, let's say the shit. I don't believe that. But the other part of me wants to believe that back when he was doing this shit, back when he was popular, it was super normal for people to pop pills and flip shit in people's drinks. That's how they part of it. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, they were huge back then. So, I don't know. Their might have been following the times. And, I mean, I don't know. It's one of those things you never know to. <laughs> She's like, what did I walk into? <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. I've heard it all. I've, I've seen it all. I've been through pretty much it all. <laughs> and this is why Jay likes our radio. <laughs> right. All right, so. Easy. <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to take a question, then we're going to play a song. Yeah. 
do it. So, is this your passion or a hobby doing music? Is this something this you do the rest of your, you're going to do this the rest of your life? Yes. Yes, this is my passion. I literally look and fit the profile of a music artist. I want to create a new buzz in the music industry and create something that was lost so many years ago and just because some of the rapper artists died that were so good or whatever it's come to now, I just, all my stuff is real stories and I don't rap about stuff I don't have and I don't rap about other, you know, like, I'm, I'm just real with my stuff, so I'm going for something new in the industry and not trying to be like everybody else. I mean, I literally have color in my hair that is so bright and noticeable because I just am so different and want to be myself and nobody else. That's what gave me the idea for the flyer. And now Jay's saying that's the best flyer I've ever made. It is a very good flyer. I loved it. So, on to another subject. I hear a motherfucker wants to rape you. Yeah. In one of their lyrics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell us about that? No, it was very disturbing. I was driving in my car, going shopping, and opened up a folder because I heard that something was going on with my friends that were the car records, and I'm like, what is going on? Like... When you see this, so I open this and I hear this song, and it's our cypher song in the background, and I'm like, what is this garbage? Like, who is this guy? Like, is he for real? And I hear that he says, who is this bitch? I could deep throat her for hours. I would fuck her for hours. Really, bitch, would you? And he lives right here in Florida, too. Oh, I did not know that. That's good. Yeah. Four hours away. Four hours away. Exactly. To be exact. And it's just for. like, you know, I open it and I'm listening to this, and it was very disturbing and super offensive. So I decided my reaction to this because my fans some of my fans heard it like my close super fans heard it and were like messaging me oh my gosh what is this are you okay what is going on I've never seen this before this doesn't really ever happen because people diss people at time and tracks it's for fun whatever but they don't say they're going to rape somebody that they don't even know and I've never even done anything to you before so because you couldn't make it on the cypher you pick apart the female and you brutally say you want to come and rape me so I made a live video just letting my fans know that I'm okay and that it's not going to happen and that this kid is pretty much just a real fuck boy I called him and you know I assured them that this is not going to happen and we decided to write a track in a reference to what he said to us. So that is almost finished and will be coming out soon. And will be in Shannon Underground Wicked Radio. For sure. And Jay and A1 Snum already made a track about them and dissed the fuck out of him and his crew. And I can't wait for ours to be done because, you know, I'm not going to handle it with violence. And, you know, I tried to handle it the nice way when I first found out about it. And I had my lawyer message him and was just like, you need to take this off on YouTube because it's not okay. And he smiley cry face at me as my response. He thought it was funny. He sounds like a fucking dog trying to rap. Easy, in fact, you've heard this kid. I've sent him your... He's claiming to be a juggalo. Yeah, hey, juggalo. He's not no fucking juggalo. I've been a juggalo since 89. No, he likes to juggle balls. Yeah. He's no yep. juggalo. Um, P... Is it P-Zap? Is that how he goes? Uh, his name is Chris K... K what is it? K... Something pop up. Hold on, let's pull it up. 
No, I'm black. His crew is black. His crew is black magic and a black magic hey, production. Yeah, not and they suck. Rap. His name is Chris Katunga. And he blocked everybody. Yep, he hit me up about a week ago trying to get on my show, and I was just like, no. <laughs> Blade? His name's Blade, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. No. He, he said that, he said, he said that I'm gonna, that we're gonna put him on World Star, and we're gonna all be jealous. And I'm like, really? I have fans, and you don't. Where's your fan page? I wanna see it. Cause I don't see it. You still don't see it. But, and I'm not bragging, but... What do you think of, and I'm going to say it wrong, just because I said it wrong earlier, just to fuck up Jay because he's listening. What do you think of Ill Cut Records? Yes, it's Alyssa Cut, but I like to call it Ill Cut. <laughs> That's what they called it, so <coughs> I, I love working with them. They are amazing. They truly are amazing artists. They take, they take care of their artists. They take care of family, they back up me, first off, they back up me. Justin, he masters my tracks for me, and they turn amazing. So, without them, I mean, I wouldn't even have this awesome opportunity to be speaking with you. So, shout out, Elicit Cut Records, I love you all. <laughs> uh, yeah, shout out to, shout out to Angwin, aka Steak Sauce. Going at a hard 67 so what's that? <laughs> <laughs> I tell him to call in, but, you know. Yeah, tell him to call in. Well, technical difficulty shit tonight. We can try this on a break. We're going to go over to a song. We're going to play... <laughs> Believe in Me. Mastered. Go ahead and tell us about this one. Okay. That one was my first one that I wrote on my own since I moved out of Ohio. I wrote that one, it took me the longest to write it because I went through a lot when I moved here. So I just wrote that one about pieces of my story that happened in like four months. And I just wrote like little pieces of it and I put it all together. So it's just about random things like haters trying to talk crap while all I'm doing is trying to make a living for my family and then it's about people coming at me for no reason and like I have been stripped right down to my soul so go ahead keep coming at me because you're not going to break something that's already broken pretty much and we'll be back after this whoop, whoop. and we are back at I'm 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 who that I'll let you get back to your thing and I'll let you go. Hi, Justin. Oh, no, you can hang out. Ask her some questions. Yeah, you can hang out. Yeah, we need to know that person. Don't leave. Don't leave. Okay. You just got invited. This, uh, cut (laughs) records. Yep, it was it. I know it's fucking cut. It was it. I know, I can't mess with him. Every time I'm on, I do that shit and he never catches it. This time he's it, it never bugs me. It never bugs me until now since that track came out. Oh, right? I would right. call you in the track? Yeah, that's what it'll I told you. It'll sit, it'll cut, it'll cut, it'll cut, cut some stupid shit. I don't even know how to yeah, actually pronounce it. No, yeah. Just, hey, we're not retarded over here. Yeah, I tried telling you that when we were talking about it. I said, oh, that's what they call them, so it fits for this show right now. Ah, perfect. Yeah. Well, I would like I would let you play their I would let you play the diss track if I felt that their quality was worthy of this. But honestly, yeah. I can't. When I put it on my monitors in my studio, the whole fucking track, well, the vocals at least, came out only in the left fucking speaker. Oh. The one dude. Well, that that I surprised me. The one dude literally sounds like he's eating Cheetos in a chair, saying yeah. that we suck in suck my dick whatever original generic shit he wants to say you know the bad part is just when most people do diss against each other normally they're saying the other person sucks just to be mean no these guys really suck for anyone tuning in <laughs> yeah no they absolutely do I don't, I'm not sure if they have down syndrome or not 
but something's, something's wrong. Something's wrong. Something's wrong with the one. Something's wrong with the one. And yo, know, I'll tag you in the video why. And I tried to like take the video snippet and put it in my diss track that I released with A One. Also, but I couldn't download it from YouTube because this bitch ass made it private. But he's talking something. I think it was like a diss to us to start, but it was subliminal. Send it over to you. Nothing safe for me. Yeah. On the internet. Yeah, I want it. I want it because it's like he's like he's like he's like to like, say a rap battle in a hot situation. Exactly like that. And I really want that part of the track because he like I don't know if he like swallows his tongue or he eats the shit out of it when he said that. But it was horrible. And I think it was towards me whatever. He is fucking daddy peanut. So he's doing something. He's an inbred. Link again, homie. I'll get you the track right now while we're talking. Oh, I'm on my phone, and it's, I have to get it from my phone. I'll give it to you when I hang up. I'll, I'll look again. I think it's still in the inbox. So, have you ever stopped making music and st and then started making music? Have I ever what? I asked her if she ever started. He he's now he thinks I'm talking to him still. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I know you've made music and stop and then start it again. <laughs> but we won't go. No, I have not. No, you haven't. No, I have not. I do got to give no. you this. I found out you've only been rapping for a year. I would have figured yeah. about five from hearing you. That's Thank what you. I said. Thank you. At least. No, I've I mean, been doing music. <laughs> I one year today, actually. Oh, wow. Happy anniversary. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think you told me that. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, I've, I've always been into music and stuff. Always. Never stopped. Writing. I'll tell you what, for my fans tuning in out there, I'm going to grab this diss. I'm going to play it on the air. And if you Do want to call in and comment about this, because you're going to hear about four seconds of this, and you're probably going to want to mute my radio. <laughs> Somebody's you to to that. <laughs> so, I'm looking for it. I know I have it here somewhere. If you're just gonna, if you're just, if you're just gonna do that, if you're just gonna do that, you might as well just play mine back, just so I can make sure that these people here that I aired them out. Like the Honestly, I wouldn't even call that a disconnect. I would just call that they got a little bit too drunk. Set and I uploaded it uh, the same night. It just retarded. Did you notice that the bottle never got empty in any of the shots? It was always full? Yep, that bitch sure don't hear it. <laughs> Yo, listen, listen. He talks so much shit, okay? But, and he says now that he's gonna diss us back. I just called that like an hour ago. But anyways, he, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna find screenshots of him begging me to get, to get him on this show. Guess oh man, like I've been trying to get on and he hasn't measured me back. Can you please get me on the radio? Crying like a little bitch. Now he's oh, uh, not well who that. I don't know. I'm just gonna make sure that video. everyone knows it. Yeah. Oh and by the way, this is going up on Juggler News, so everyone's gonna know what a juggle ho he is. Nice, huh? Yeah. He picked the wrong <laughs> fight I was just uh, the wrong person. I have a YouTube video that he won. Yeah, it's bad. He, I don't know what he, I don't understand it, to be honest with you. Supposedly, we were throwing diss tracks out on them for two weeks, but none of the tracks that came out were even remotely close to a diss track on anybody. I think that he's, I don't know if he, like, I don't know what happened to him, to be honest with you in life, and I don't really care. He saw the slide, his mom hit him, whatever the fuck is wrong with him. But he he needs to, he needs to go. He needs to go somewhere. No, I know why it happened, but just the way he acts towards everything is crazy. It's whatever it goes. Because tuning in. I'm about to play for you guys these guys that said they were going to rape the girl on the line. Um, yeah. Don't mute it. Listen to the whole thing. I know you're going to want to mute it, but just trust me. <laughs> listen to the whole thing. Yeah, you really have to listen to what they say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's hard. Trust me. Sure. I, I was just sure this. What the fuck? All right, let me find it. I just pulled it over. Here it is. 
anyone can listen to it. You only need one speaker for it. So even the people who only have one speaker, it makes sound a little bit better for them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never, I never made it past the part where they talked about Lil Who That was the end for me. And uh, I can tell you, they're lucky they live four hours away. But I'm in Florida, man. I'll see you one day. Yep. I don't know. I listen. I listen to the thing over. I listen to it over and over. Thirty-six, maybe thirty. No, thirty-seven. Counting you guys now. Artists that live in Florida on my radio. Oh, look at that! I have uh, backup. Yeah, no mm-hmm. joke. Hope I mean, never runs into a real juggalo. Hmm. Let me see. Now that I'll know that. This radio show is based off Juggalos. Yes, I am a hardcore Juggalo. I do all underground, but I like to have whoever I can get on that can actually rap. Right. Okay. And yeah, it's cool you don't discriminate. So, anyone tuning in, after I play this, if you want to call in and talk about how bad these motherfuckers suck, trust me, I'm going to make sure to get the recording to this when we are done. Call in. Tell me what you think of this. We're going to play it. We'll be right back. Woo woo. <coughs> Can't wait for the It's clean. I don't know why that sent twice to you, homie, but at least you got it now. He didn't really diss me in the track, though. The only thing he did was play my intro to the, to the cipher. But really, what the fuck are you exposing out of me saying I'm the CEO of Alyssa Car Records? Everyone knows that. There's no one that does that, that knows my label. So, for, I am the face of Alyssa Car. Like, I really am. And I built this shit from the ground. I have a business partner. He helps. And then I have an artist manager, Alyssa Tongue. Everyone on a label pitches in. My girlfriend does graphics too. And Anthony Javier does one shit. It's all tied into one. Have you ever done I do graphics again? Let me know. Yeah, I built it from the ground up, though, and he just, him saying that, it's like, okay, you're a fucking clown. Like, can't you put some reverse in there or something? Make it make it more entertaining for me. Let me hear myself a couple more times. Now, here, he hey, goes, okay, me. Jay actually found out what Juggalo stands for today. He was confused because a newer dumbass is out there. Completely <laughs> around. They're just, it sickens to me to be called a Juggalo. Today, I mean, it's insane. They're old school. It used to be where you could walk into any town, find a juggalo. Hey, homie, I need a place to crash. No questions asked. You would sleep on their couch. They would fix your fucking breakfast. Blah blah blah. You'd be like family. Mm-hmm. You don't see the room. <laughs> it's changed. But we got to get back to this interview. So, let. Oh, uh, where the hell did that go? Okay, there it is. I thought the app closed out. Um, what do you hope to do with your music in, say, two years from now? Where do you hope to be? Um, in two years? Well, I came very far in a year, so in two years, I can only hope to be, you know, just keep building my fans and keep putting out my tracks. My album will be out this summer, and... Just keep going from there. And we lost Jay. I think he hopped off to listen in. Um. <laughs> are we going to see any new music videos from you soon? Yes, you are. I have somebody coming out soon to shoot some with me. He's a friend of one of my cousins that he uses, so. Alright, so. Jay wants me to play their disc back here. Well, uh, after asking uh, questions, but yeah, we'll do that. So, um, has your family completely supported your choice of doing music over the last year? Um, no, not everyone, because I'm a rapper and they laugh sometimes. <laughs> Um, some people make fun of me and don't take me seriously. Um, I'm out here living my dream, so I laugh back as I continue growing successfully. 
and some family members are racist and are not okay with the fact that I'm in this industry. So I continue because I don't care and I don't see color, so I just push through. I I'm not supporting them. Yeah. I don't, I don't see it. I don't raise my children to see it. Like, I'm not all about that. I love anyone that loves me. So, Believe it or 99% of my family are black. My nephews are yeah. black, so, yeah, I don't see color at all. No. And you're a white boy. Yep. And you're a white boy. <laughs> I don't feel like a day. <laughs> Apologize for that. Alyssa Cut's song started playing for some reason, but. Alright, so. Yeah, on that, my, um. Might as well get on this subject for a minute. My first kid is with a Chinese half Asian girl. Nice. So. Yeah, I definitely don't see any race at all. Not to me. All right. So mm -hmm. the There's no point. Like that's why, like I'm so I'm so excited to work with Lazy and do a track with him because I'm just so like all about him and like what he tries to like bring to the world. Like the one his one song, New Life, literally got me through my new life starting here in Florida. Like, I li listen to that song every day just to get through it because it was really hard. I miss my friends and, you know, the guys that I started rapping with back home. Like, you know, I, seeing you know, not seeing color, like, both of them are black and that is who started me in this industry. Like, they just, they got me going and I performed all the time with them back home and I miss it so much. And I got to open with Lazy with them and we got to, you know, walk a faka and we got to be in the back and it was just so, you know, the memories I have, I can't, I like want to replace, like remake them and I just, I can't right now. I've heard of that place before. The, um, venue you just said. Agora. Agora. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah like, well, it's awesome. I love performing there. Being in Florida, have you guys heard of Scumbag Entertainment yet? No. <laughs> yeah, there's somebody I don't deal with anymore. Stay away from them. <laughs> Just to give you a heads up. They're another one yeah. kind of like... I had technical difficulties on one of my laptops it up and crashed before their interview and they were making comments on Facebook about me well he's on professional he can't make it the interview is not going on tonight I'm like what the fuck really <laughs> after I happened I fucking promoted it for three weeks for him and by 5,000 people over those time period and I was just like well yeah fuck you guys yeah, I call oh, people down. puke. I think that there is nothing worse that you can call somebody than calling them a puke. I agree. Hands down. <laughs> nothing is more offensive. Nothing. You're a puke. And they're like, um, okay. I what do you say back? That one. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. It really is. So we'll put more offensive guys than you. In. Left calm. I used to go to school in Tallahassee back in 91, 92. Yeah. <laughs> Let me yeah, get you way younger than that. <laughs> no, it's, it's way at the top of Florida. Yep. It's like an eight hour drive from us, I'd say. So Jay, I hope you're tuned in because I'm going to play the disc back to that song for everybody tuned in. And then we're going to go and ask some more questions so and sad. play Little Who Dat's next song. I want to play In Thy Mouth. So, here is the disc back. It is called Black Magic. I'm not yeah. saying this shit right for once, so I'm going to mark yeah, this shit down. But we were talking about this guy being a 
juggalo Where did all that noise just come from? Bob, no idea. What do you My man, I'm shifting. <laughs> I'm shifting, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> did you drop your phone? <laughs> yes. So, did you get a chance to listen to her music, Bubbles? Huh? Did you get a chance to listen to her music? No, I was at the soccer field with the babies. I didn't get a chance yet. Ah, uh, you'll have to, uh, I'll give you some links here in a little bit. Thank you. Uh, I will go over to my Facebook to drop some links to apparently her old lady, not old man, I said old lady <laughs> for some reason, but whatever. Um, I'm going to drop him my Sugar Slam drop, my Marilyn Manson bass player drop, my DJ Clay. I mean, I can keep going. DJ Clay, I got ICP, Satanic. Thanks. All right, so I'll drop those so you guys can check them out later. I'm going to have you do a drop before we hop off here at some point. Um... So again, everyone tuned in. The track that just played was the disc back to those guys. So yeah. But not the only one. Mine's still coming. Yep. I can't wait to hear yours. Mm -hmm. So, who was your influence growing up? And no, let me say this again. Who was your hero growing up? It can be music, TV, actor, superhero. Who was it? I didn't have a hero growing up because my father abused me very badly, and my mother let him. Um, so I didn't really have a hero until I got married and met my husband. He's actually my hero, and always will be. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> I've actually been through something myself like that. So yeah, I know what that's like. Yeah. Yep. It's terrible, but it's it really legal. Yeah. yeah, let's just put it to that way. <laughs> right. 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 Oh, yeah. But the ones that were on the disc would probably be gone right now, too. So, yeah. But anyways, <laughs> what made right. you decide to start making music? What influenced you to make music? Um... Um, well, I started off playing a violin when I was four, and I played it all the way up until I was 16, and, um, you know, while he was abusing me, I wrote my music, and that's where I went and hid. I, you know, buried myself in my music, and I wrote my songs, and I'm very much into dancing, and just playing all the artists and growing up to them. I would say that they were my heroes growing up as a child. You know, all the, like, you know, lazy and all the people in the music industry growing up as a kid. Because I went to my music when I couldn't go anywhere else. I definitely can agree. Music is definitely a release. I used to go play my guitar. And back in 91, I might as well bring this up. You guys don't know this. <laughs> tuning in, my fans, but fuck it. Back in 91, I was cranking ICP. Dog Beats, I believe it was. And yes. my stepfather... Yes. Oh, yeah. My stepfather was unplugging my shit on me. He would... Uh, so I'd go down to the basement where the breaker box was, lock the basement door, put it on my guitar amplifier, and I cranked that shit. He come down with a butcher knife threatening to kill me, so I put him as... I put his ass in the hospital. I spent eight years of probation for that shit. Wow. Yeah, that's how fucked up the government is. Hey, homie, when you listen to the Shaggy 2 Dope drop, that was a good night, man. Shaggy talked to me for about 15 minutes. He was so psyched I was live on my radio while they were live on Psychopathic Radio. He said that is the first ever in Psychopathic history I was to do that. Wow. So he'll never forget that's me. Awesome. And he's that's trying awesome. to say, I live in the Adirondack Park in New York. He's sitting there trying to say Adirondack. Finally, he goes, add it to the Rondack. I'll never forget that. Uh. But let's go to another song. Let's play Name in Thy Mouth. Go ahead and tell us about this. Um, that one I wrote with... 
my friend Shaw, he came here to visit me around Christmas time. And we laid down like 10 tracks. <laughs> Yeah. He helped me lay down, yeah, he helped me lay down 10 tracks, and that was one of them that him and I just, he just played around with, because I had a bunch of beats that I had waiting for him to come here with me, and uh, we just played around with it, really, and had fun on it the whole time. There's really nothing to it, like, I talk about, like, MGK and it, and people got my, you know, they got my name in the mouth all the time, so, just get everybody talking. Before we cut to the song, I seen in one of your videos straight out of Compton shirt contest. What was that yeah. about? Um, I got the movie and it came with a t shirt and it was too big for me, so you know, I do this all the time, like I'm always giving stuff out to my fans and I'm like, Hey, I'm just gonna give this to my fans so I did a contest and I ended up um, picking a DJ and I'm playing that's awesome. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit him, so I signed up for him, and I have to send one of my little Who Dat t shirts instead. Awesome. And when I, the only, when uh, I picked him up. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. The only shirt I've ever got from an artist was Project Born. Do you know who that is? No. He is the first. Um, they they are the first group ever signed to Psychopathic Radio back in '92, and what? I get him on my show all the time. Project Born, Chris Polk will be my co-host some nights, and we'll just bullshit yeah. with an artist and then tell him because we'll make sure they're a Project Born fan, and we'll fuck with them. We'll say he's my new co-host in training. And then we'll have to do the show. We're like, by the way, this is Chris Polk from Project Born interviewing you. The best result I got from an artist was, I'm about to go scream like a cheerleader about to be raped. <laughs> that was good shit. In fact, that was Alyssa, I'm not even going to say it, that was Jay's artist. I believe that was C in A1. Got interviewed by... Okay. Yep, I believe it was. Or the Freak Boys. It was yeah. one of the two. All right, we're going to go to the song, Name in Thy Mouth. We shall be right back. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Whitney Payton, she's really good. Oh, yeah, I would love to meet her. And my other DJ that does interviews just opened up for her. And his old lady was crying during one of her songs. Whitney Payton went down and gave her a hug. <laughs> Do you know Rich Waychuck by chance? No. He was on her promo tour just recently. Oh, nice. Yeah. He was one of my first fans, actually. That's awesome. No, I but I, but I asked him. I asked. I asked him. I told him I wanted to, you know, like I want, like wanted to talk to him or whatever. And he's like, oh, blah blah. blah. I'm like, okay. Whatever. I never brought it up again. One more question before I ask you another one. Do you guys know who DJ Clay is? Yeah. I'm interviewing him next week. Um, it's next Wednesday at 10 o'clock. Why don't you talk about DJ Clay? Yeah. Maybe my yesterday. Hey, I can't. Oh, he, had, he had family issues, so we had to. What? He didn't even say anything. I, well, I had to go well, type it in the thing. I was busy watching the movie, dang it. <laughs> she she stepped in my <laughs> really? She's giving me shit. <laughs> <laughs> you could have said, hey, Bobby, why don't you go um, to the event and, you know, say something then? Like, <laughs> earlier in the day. You did your job. You did it in me. <laughs> so, back to the questions. And who's speaking of? Do you guys know who Prozac is? Um, no. <laughs> Tech Nine, shut up, Bubbles. He's a really good <laughs> artist off Strange Music with Tech Nine, and I never hit fucking record when he did a radio drop for me a couple weeks ago. So, I'll, needless to say, he did a good drop. I just don't have it. <laughs> yeah, laugh. I'll have him back on today. Sorry. <laughs> I just I know how it is. Oh. I know how it is. You, 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 these guys have no idea. I run four Facebooks, a Twitter, a MySpace, a Juggalo book, and try to run the radio and doing everything else. It's crazy. 
Right. So, would you play your songs in your favorites playlist on your MP3 player or whatever you use to listen to music? Yes, I do. It's, I listen to my SoundCloud daily. Oh, nice. You were on SoundCloud. I'll have to uh, get yes. the link over to her later. Um, I listen. We normally have a question we ask, but being a girl, I'm not going to ask you it, but I'm going to tell you it. We have what's the okay. red question. We don't have too many female artists get on. So I try to oh, okay. avoid that question unless I know they're like girls. <laughs> but we have what we ask the red question, and it's asking them, have you earned your red wings? <laughs> so seeing how your old man's in the background, I'm going to put him on the spot. Yeah, hand him the phone for a minute. Um, hold on one second. <laughs> he, he, he walked away for a second. Oh, did he? Okay. He knew it was cool, oh. and he's like, I gotta walk away. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm gonna ask him this <laughs> question. <laughs> don't, don't tell him. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Just tell him I have a question for him. Is he coming back? Yeah, coming back. The baby woke up, so. Uh, <laughs> I wish I could see the look on his face when I asked this. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> he wanted to ask you a question. It was terrible timing. The baby wakes up at the worst time always, trust me. So, you there, homie? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, um, I can't ask her this question because we don't have too many females on, so I figured her husband's in the background, I might as well, might as well ask him. So, homie, All right, I'm done. have you ever earned your red wings? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. Here we go. <laughs> you ain't a man. <laughs> You earned your red wing. Hell yeah, there we go. Hell yeah. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting, like, oh, gross. <laughs> now, there's two sets. Let, let's get into details now. There's two sets. Either you read it out on the period or you give it to her on the period. Which one did you do? Or both? Oh, uh, that really doesn't matter to me. <laughs> so he's in both. It, it, it's on whatever works. <laughs> Here we go. I wish Easy was tuning in because he wanted to ask this question. I was like, oh, I'm ask her old man. All right. <laughs> we'll I mean, whatever it takes. More questions. <laughs> I can't wait to get this up on uh, Jungle News. But we're going to ask a couple more questions. But before we do that, we're going to let you do some shout outs. Um, this is your time. Go ahead and do a uh, radio drop for or for Underground Wicked Radio. Just to say this is Little Who Dat. You're listening to DJ Snickers and Easy 606 on Underground Wicked Radio. Then drop uh, links to your music, SoundCloud, and I'll cut it out later, and I'll put on more all your songs that play on the radio. It gives you guys free promo too. Hey, hold on, I turned it. Turned it. I didn't do a radio <laughs> drop. Just say this is Little Who Dat. You're listening to DJ Snickers. And Easy 606 on Underground Wicked Radio, and then drop links to your music. Okay. And I'm gonna cut out the red question. I'm gonna put it in your radio drop. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. This is Will Hudat. Shout out to DJ Snickers and Easy 606. At Underground Wicked Radio. Check out my Facebook page at willhudat.com. Also, it's my website. And then all my songs are on SoundCloud at willhudat. And then my Twitter is willhudat13, also for Instagram as well. Perfect. Now, before you do some shout outs, give me a movie. Like, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Or cartoon? <laughs> Cartoon the bomb. Um, I cartoon fire. Um, um, I I'm gonna go old, old school with cartoons because they don't make cartoons now like they did when I was a kid. 
Um, definitely Looney Tunes, all the way. Looney Tunes? Okay, I got this. Mm -hmm. I'm writing this down. I'm using this for your drop. I'm going to cut some stuff from okay. the Looney Tunes in your drop. No. I do this for all my drops. I add stuff in. The last one I did, I thought the guy wasn't going to like it, but he calls himself the Blunt Master. So the first thing that clicked into my head was Jay and Silent Bob. Yeah. <laughs> so I put the scene in with I am the clit commando. I ruled the clit. I added that all into his drop. He shared that shit like 200 times. <laughs> I didn't think he was gonna, but he loved it. All right, so go ahead and do some shout outs. Shout out to anyone you want. Um, I want to shout out to Alyssa Cut Records. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Shout out to my family and my friends back home, my team, Dollar Riders. And shout out to you three. Radio for everything that you've done. Shout out to A1, the team everyone back home. Before I and all my boys are on town. Oh, go ahead. Before I forget, the illusionist is the guy I was telling you about from Pennsylvania that raps. I've actually made a music video for him and Wicked Whisperer from Pennsylvania. Um, I got artists everywhere, just to tell you. Like, every state, my flyer guy, when I can't do flyers, is from Scotland. When I talk to him, he says, cheers, mate, and it throws me off every time. <laughs> and I got homies from London, everywhere. It can't uh, yeah, I have uh, Daniel Scott out there in the UK. He does Astro Boots, Get Rich Rapping. He's awesome. He's like one of the best motivator speakers I've ever seen in my life. Never heard of him. I'll have to check him out. But he says... Fuck the haters. And he said if anyone ever said that about his old lady, he probably, they probably wouldn't live through the night. Right. And he completely supports your music. And that fucking word I can't say, <laughs> the records. <laughs> Alyssa, <laughs> Alyssa, Alyssit, Alyssit. And Alyssit, fuck. Damn it. Oh, okay. My homie Jay, if you're tuning in, I, I don't know, homie. Yeah. Hey, you, know, hey, you, you went retarded. Yeah. <laughs> and someone's trying to call me on my computer. I apologize for that. <laughs> but anyways, we've been on almost two hours. I can't believe that. Uh I didn't even notice that until now. Oh, the longest interview I've ever had on Underground Wicked Radio, no, hour and a half, was four hours long. Damien Quinn wow. from Dark Half. I had, I don't know if you know who Sick Panic is. Yeah. Um, I had him on for three and a half hours. Wow. So they're homies, and he's like, well, I'm going to beat that. He stayed on for a little over four hours. I'm happy. I'll beat it. Yeah, that, that's going to be a fuck of an interview to try to... Because i got to cut the songs out of yeah, we're good. when they go up on YouTube. Because YouTube likes to nail anything they can nail, any kind of music for they do. So we put the links in the description for people to click on to go listen to your music. Like you have in one on YouTube, that'll go on the description. But um, okay. that's going to be a fun <clears throat> interview to encode. It's going to take, like, two hours to encode. But, all right, last couple of questions, and we're going to hop off for the night. Did you guys enjoy your interview on Underground Wicked Radio, and would you come back? No, definitely. I'll come back anytime you ask. That's the interview I've ever had. I like hearing that. Anytime you guys have anything you want to drop, new CD, music video, get a hold of me. We'll get you back on. Awesome. All right, you guys have a good night. Thank you for getting on. Everyone, thank you for tuning in. I shall be back tomorrow interviewing. Let me see. And famous by the stack. <laughs> well, I got an event page for him. It's just, I've been so busy. I want to make sure I got these dates right. Because then I got <laughs> Lords of Chaos coming on. On the 20th, Sly Wicked, Young Grim. And then Stamp 3D. That's going to be a good one. And then Axe is coming back on for their fourth interview. Looking forward to that one. All right. Well, have a good it. night. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah. You guys, thank you. Good interview, by the way. Thank you for getting on. Yeah.
You guys Thank you. Woo woo.